You want me to say that to you? Is that why you find it? Call me fat ass, especially in public. Yeah. I thought you want me to compliment your butt more. Thank you. 
How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the stream. We are out here struggling for some shinies today. We've had 10,000 encounters in a row, no shinies yet. So we're hoping we break the streak today. <laughs> we're aiming to do about three to 4,000 encounters today. So we'll see how many we knock out. So much for the white flute, this DS just won't stop. It's just taking forever to find. Here we go. And that zigzag gun looked like a different shade. I got excited for a second there. So some context for those of you who are new here. What I'm doing. I am 5x hunting for shiny roll. I have 5 DS to set up. Uh, 3 rubies. 2 sapphire. Uh -oh. I have 1 Japanese sapphire and 1 Japanese ruby. The rest are English. And, uh, unfortunately, I only have two capture cards, so you guys can only see two of five DS going. Uh, the 
three, all three English copy DSs are using the repel trick and biking, uh, hopping in spot. The two Japanese are walking back and forth because the Japanese copies stop like if you bicycle and like too long. Our total encounters right now are 19,233. We found a total of three shinies, and the last shiny we found was at about 10,780. All three shinies were on the same game. All five DSs right there were Zigzagoon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, game. Just find some Pokemon a little faster. And here we go, now these insane wait times in between encounters. Get him. Oh, 
Well, you should. I don't know. Actually, three of those DSs were Whirlpools that time. Why can't I type? Oh, you can type now. How long you been streaming? Uh, I don't know. This thing says 30 minutes. So maybe 30 minutes. How you doing, sir? I guess my phone is glitched. Hey, well, I can... Can you hear me? I can see your messages. Got the fam watching. Oh my goodness, no way you put. So if I get a shiny, then I'm gonna like freak out in front of all your family. They're gonna be like, what a loser. Really? You're gonna embarrass me like that? I'm your friend. This is how you treat me.
What are y'all up to? What is the family doing? Are y'all playing Go Fish? watching hunt all y'all are just in there watching me hunt hey considering i'm like ten thousand encounters since my last shiny i don't think you're gonna see much action tonight i mean i have a feeling we're probably not gonna get anything and this will be what all week now in a row that we haven't got anything starting to get a little unmotivating you're feeling lucky hey i'm hoping so i need I need shinies, and if I get if I get a shiny Ralts, oh man, that'll be exciting. We're at nineteen thousand, so we've done how many encounters in the last day? I think when I went on break from work, I was at thirteen thousand, so we've done like six thousand encounters in the last three days now. Pretty crazy. And since we got three DSs doing the repel trick, if I could get a roll doing shiny, oh gosh, that's it. That's all there is to it. Does the whole family play Pokemon as well? You were doing some offline last night too? Yeah, I was just recording. Um, I did some offline recording for... I don't know how long. A couple... A handful of hours, really. Enough to go from like 13... Or 14,000 to... Uh, what number? 9,000. How was Guardians? Oh, it was really good. Very good movie. Very, very good story. It wasn't just action. It, it actually had, like, a really good story. Some sad parts and some really funny parts, too. Definitely one of the best Marvel movies since Endgame. San Antonio Spurs won the lottery last night. How did they win the lottery? Who were they playing against? I'm not very familiar with basketball. Oh, I should have said oh, that would have been funny. Could have, could have. I don't. Know. But I love basketball, and then you would be like, "That's a basketball team." I would be like, "Oh." I Are y'all gonna go watch Guardians of the Galaxy soon? It was 14% chance for three teams to get the number one pick, and the Spurs got it. Nice. I hope he's worth it then. He has to be right if he was the number one pick. Spurs are going to drop this guy at one, this French prodigy. A French basketball player. Interesting. Yes, dude. Alright. Those DS is gone. So have you done any more hunts for your Poochiena or Whirlpool? Everyone is hyped on this kid. Yeah. He's seven foot four. Golly, he's huge. That's what she said. 
I tried Whirlpool, but I gave up, and Zigzagoon too. You gave up on Zigzagoon as well. So what are you gonna do now? You got two starters. Shiny. In their old gen games. Are you just gonna transfer those up? I can't land the wild ones. Do it legit like me. Oh yeah, did I tell you I got the official English copy of Emerald now? So now I've got all the Game Boy Advance games in, in uh, English. It arrived? Yeah. I was hoping they didn't use their Master Ball and it was sitting on the file, but they used the Master Ball on, uh, on a Pokemon. I forgot. I think it was... I want to see Moltres. Might have been a different game. I was like, yeah. But they did already use the Master Ball. You know what else I didn't realize is you can get the starters for Gen 2 in this game. I didn't know you could. I mean, at least in Emeralds you can. I don't know about Ruby Sapphire, but you can, if, if it was on Ruby Sapphire, you could soft reset for the starters. Uh. Did you know you can trade with Leaf Green and Fire Red? Yes, so I was looking at that because when I'm about to do Safari Zone, right, we're going for that Shining Gyarados from the Safari Zone. Uh, but the second thing, too, is I wanted to get a Staryu with Illuminate and transfer it over to my games from Fire Red, Leaf Green, and that way I'll increase my encounters even more, which will help out dramatically with not just this hunt, but future hunts as well. Uh, the problem is, you don't get access to trading with these games and Fire Red Leaf Green until you complete uh, complete Fire Red Leaf Green, like, beat the game. So, and considering all my games are currently stuck doing a hunt at the very beginning of the game, I'm not able to do that yet. Wait, really? Yes. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this hunt, and then as soon as I complete the hunt, I'm going to use my Japanese copies to uh, blow through the game real fast and get Star you and everything, and then transfer them over. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that by the time I finish the hunt on the other games, my Red Leaf Green, that I've already got my roll. Which, that's super optimistic, if we're being realistic here. But, hey. If I'm doing an average of 10 to 13,000 encounters per week, we'll be pretty close to 100,000 here soon. The problem is, in order to hit 13,000, I have to, like, no life this, uh, no life this, and that means I get no, no time to play other games, too. Can you trade from beginning on Emerald? Um, from Emerald to Ruby Sapphire at the beginning? Yes, you can. But if you mean trade between Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Emerald... Uh, no, it's it's dependent on you finishing Fire Red Leaf Green. You have to beat that first in order to trade with Ruby Sapphire. It's not beating Ruby Sapphire first. And the only way to get Staryu uh, 
which I think is one of two Pokemon that has Illuminate, the other one being Chin Chow. Uh, but both of those are late game Pokemon, right? Because Staryu you only get from a Super Rod, and you obviously don't get Super Rod, so you get to, to Lily Cove, if I remember correctly. Which that's what? Gem, gem, uh, gem 6 or so? Maybe 7? In between 6 and 7. You can hook me up. And then Chin Chow, I don't think you get access to Chin Chow until you get uh, Illuminate. Or uh, until you get Dive. I mean, if you don't mind catching like five Chin Chow, four Star Use, that would be a huge help. Like, that just makes these. Oh, wait, but they're on Game Boys. I can't trade over the internet. You'd have to be here and we'd have to use a cord. You can't hook me up. How are you gonna hook me up, bruh? Got my hopes up for like, I'll send you my Addy, you can come through and trade. How far are we talking? How long am I gonna be driving for? A little drive. A little drive. Don't tell me you're like in Maryland or something. All the way across the United States. San Antonio, oh yeah. Oh, okay. I, I know. I should have known because you brought up Spurs, alright? It's my bad, my bad, alright? I'm bad at memory. I have horrible memory. Alright. Northwest SeaWorld there. Okay. Something else I need to do as well is I need to... So I found a way... I don't know if you have a 3DS, right? But if you do, there's a little secret that I found out that you can set up. And if you have the Gen 4 games, Pearl, Platinum, Diamond, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, if you have those games, uh, you can use... You can access a Wi-Fi thing that gives you access to all the old mystery gifts on Gen 4. So I can hunt Shaman, Darkrai. I can get a legit access to the le to the Arceus that was never released. You told me this. You, I don't remember you telling me this. I think, I think that's. I'm calling Cap on that, all right? I'm calling Cap. You didn't tell, because I saw the video. You didn't send me no video. Gee, I'm not that bad at them, all right? I don't have that bad. But, we're probably going to do that on stream later, before I end the stream. Happened, right? Oh. Dude, no so what happened was you didn't really know what I was talking about. Oh, okay, so you're explaining it and I had no idea which... Okay. Now that sounds a little more believable, because I am a little slow sometimes. No money. Oh. Don't try and take a shot if you can't handle the repercussions. More time. Oh. No, no. What they call big. I've been wanting to share that with you. Yeah. I, I need to look at. I don't even know. Oh, another thing too is. I've been looking at eBay, and I've been thinking, I don't know if I want to risk it or not, I think I might send my Japanese copies, but there's somebody I can pay a service to, and they will upload legit copies of uh, event items to your cartridge, so I can get a legit version of the Aurora map, so I can hunt Yaki's, and same for me. I've been thinking about that as well, but... I mean, honestly, it's kind of scary just sending my cartridges to somebody I don't know and paying that money, and then just possibly just that game. Which is why I would just choose the lower quality, the Japanese copies that aren't that expensive. Is 
the day I did it, I was like the happiest person ever. I was able to connect the Wi-Fi via grandma's phone because she owned an Android. Grandma, I'm taking your phone for a bit. I was downloading these events all night. fact that they're legit as in legit mystery guests that are so so true to someone's server yeah. yeah i'm not so worried about getting the pokemon as i want the items so that i can do the shiny hunts you know especially since i missed out on shaman darkrai and arceus i'm not too concerned about because I can get uh, Darkrai and Arceus from BDSP, but Shaman I lost out on. So Shaman's the main one I want. I know there's a, a Latios and a Latios event on uh, uh, Heartgold, Soul Silver, but I mean I know they're from Gen Three, so I'm thinking I would like to understand more of how to get Latios and Latios. They're stored in a DNS server. If only the 3DS could use, like, Game Boy, you know, Game Boy Advance games, then we could do the same thing for Game Boy Advance. But no. Too old. Nineteen thousand five hundred encounters. They come in Cherish Balls. Hey, that's cool. Are they only legendary Pokemon? Actually, you know what? Let's take a minute. I want to look at that. Let's... Uh, let's... First off, let's see. How to obtain... Latios? In Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, Ruby, yeah. How do you get Latios in Gen 3 after beating the Elite Four? Return home, TV show. Question oh, blue that I'm not able. Latios to be found in there. If you select red, Latios will roam instead, and you need an Eon ticket in order to get Latios. How to get access to the Eon Pick. How to obtain Ladia in Gen 3. Sorry for hitting the mic. How do you get Ladia? Dude, most of them are crazy legendaries. I can check right now, see which ones, but the notable ones were like Raikou, Suicune, Entei, Shiny Dark. They catch Latias and Sapphire. Okay, so I'll have to hunt one in one game and the other one in the other game. Gotcha. Okay. So now, let's see. 
gen for mystery gift Pokemon. Enter. Gen 4 mystery server. If servers still work. This one here. Mystery gifts. Here we go. See, that's cool, but I'm thinking I save those shinies for hunting them rather than just, you know, getting them from mystery gifts. Mystery gift event. List of event Pokemon distribution generation. Shiny Giratina. Shiny Palkia, Shiny Dialga, Smeargle, Odor's Discord, False Life, Ray Rizzo's Metagross. Shiny. Toler Web Blue Dicolo. That was non shiny. Meloetta. I don't have a Meloetta yet. Doesn't look shiny though. Meloetta Legendary or can you breed it? Shiny Ladios. Tour Ladios. Cloyster, yep. Keldeo, well, that must be generation 5 or something. that's not a generation 4, right? Pikachu? A shiny Larvitar. In a Cherish Ball. Deckrom and Reshiram. Dark Cry, Thorar, Crash. I don't know. Think about me my whole life, never been able to attend these events, just being super fast. Other regions got them, but I've never credited them. One day I find out that it's throwing them on a DNS server and you can still receive them somehow. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. For sure. I'm pumped about it.
It was a crazy day. It was like one to two years ago. Huh, crazy. You think I should do the Arceus hunt in the old gen? Even though it wasn't officially released? Or you think I should wait and do it in the new gen? Since that was officially released and it can shine. How do you hunt Arceus? Um, in Generation 4, you use that DNS server to get the Azure Flute. And then you'll just do the soft resetting. And then, in the new generation, you get the Azure Flute, you beat the game, and then you soft reset for Arceus. The problem is, since it wasn't ever officially released, I'm worried if they would count it as illegitimate and then delete it. If it goes into Pokemon Home. BDSP odds. BDSP odds are 1 in 4,000, whereas Gen 4 would be uh, 1 in 8,000. So it would be half the odds, or double the odds. Thing. I guess new gen, what do you think? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. We'll figure it out soon. For now, we need to focus on the like 20 hunts that we already have set in stone that we need to knock out first. You should tune in to Poke Eater. He's funny. He was hunting Gulu last night. Same spot as you. So what you're saying is he's he's copying me. And I need to copyright strike him? Is that what you're saying? I need to hit him with the copyright claim? Where are my shinies at, bro? Are you taking them, Andre? Is that- are you RNG manipulating to take all my shinies? Is that why I haven't gotten any in like 10,000 counters? My bad, dude. My phone died. What did you say? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I was just complaining about not getting in Chinese yet. And I forget what else I said. You deserve a Ralts, man. I'll eventually. Alright. In a realistic sense, Andre, when do you think I'm gonna get Ralts? Do you think I'm gonna get below... Oh, yeah. Pokey hitter. Do you think I'm gonna get it below 100,000? Above 100,000? Above 200,000? What do you think? 
And I was saying, so what you're telling me is Pokey Hitter is copying me, huh? I need to send him some copyright claims. Below 50k. So who all from the family is hanging out? He'd be doing the same hunts as you? Like if you guys know each other or something? Why? Because he's just doing Wulu? What other hunts is he doing? He's saying he's also doing three segment to Dunsparce. He's also doing some old gen hunts. Yeah. He's going for a shiny living decks as well. So what you're saying is I'm not unique anymore. The way I see you guys just have the similar likes as in Pokemon. He completed Scarlet Violet though, that's what's got him hype on TikTok. I'd be Scarlet Violet too. 392 out of 392. Is that all new Pokemon? 392 new Pokemon? No, that's not possible. Because the total dex is 400. So we got some old gen shiny. Oh. Nice, well congratulations to him for completing those. And my dex on purpose to make myself a little bit harder. As I'm here, shiny hunting in five games in Gen 3. That's like Lupus when he said he already has 300. Yeah, Lupus. So... Who all have you got hanging out with? Two rolls. No shine. Three rolls, actually, in this batch. None of them shine.
Ooh, four rolls. Dude, four out of five of those games gave me rolls. Oh, you lied? Nice. Liar, liar. That was a purple wurple for a second there. Just me and my friend at first because I did have you up on the living room, but now it's just me. Oh, see? I'm pretty boring as a streamer. Need to get some flashy emotes and some sound effects and things. Oops, I didn't mean it. I think you'd enjoy Poke Eater. I really want to see what you think of him. Alright, send me a message on Discord and I'll check him out later when I'm offline hunting. I missed the Safari Week, how was it? What do you mean you missed Safari Week? Safari Week is. Are you trying to be funny or something, Asra? I don't understand. We got like two weeks, and you were just here the other day. How do you think that a week went in, in, the, in the passage of like 24 or 48 hours or whatever? Honestly, though, I have been thinking about starting early because I'm really antsy to get my Gyarados. I thought it's May 12th to the 16th, and it's 17th today here. No, it's June 2nd to the 11th or something like that. Four out of five of these games are purple. I'm literally just waiting on this last DS to find a Pokemon. It's a Sea Dot. Where's the luck gone to? Oof. I don't know. Also, you've been dry on shinies, huh? And the C dot is still your last one? Yeah, we're going on... We're pretty close to 10,000 encounters now with no shiny. The luck is dried up. Because you've been making fun of me saying that you want the hunts to be as long and painful as possible. Laugh emoji, of course. 
Well, I didn't mean it to be this literal. Oh, this hunt is gonna be painful, dude. And this isn't even the hardest hunt that you want. You want me to do a 1% Lapras? This is a 10% Ralts, okay? It might be this time you'll get the Ralts. I'm really hoping so. I'm hoping we're getting a long drought and I get the Ralts next. Two out of five DSs were rolls that encounter. Two were werewolves. Luck isn't constant. You might get Lapras on your first encounter too. That would be nuts. I'll be like A-Drive, first encounter. Shiny. He got first encounter. Shiny Palkia. Although, of course, a first encounter 1% Lapras would be much higher. A drives reaction is nuts, and you'd be like, Shiny Shiny. Yeah. I'm not as flamboyant as A. But we're working, right? Maybe. Oh, I must even hop. This. Maybe I'll get more and more excited the more shinies I get, or the longer it takes, and then I'll get up there. I'll scream my head off like A drive. I'm an old lady that lives next door. I'll, I'll scream so loud so you get spoken up. Thinks that I'm being murdered or something. You better clip it. Didn't we clip the C dot? I don't know. I thought I clipped it. I just haven't attached it to Nightfall. But I am. That's what I'm doing. It's free. It's free real estate. I, I clip it. I clip it for Twitch. I clip it for YouTube. And I clip it for TikTok. What is your character doing? Which one? You talking about how he's like standing in place and getting encounters like right now? It's bouncing? Yeah, so in these games, uh, you know how normally you have to walk back and forth in patches of grass to get encounters? Um, I'm using a bicycle. It's the acro bike. And the acro bike, one of the things about it is it lets you bounce in place. And the whole reason why you bounce in place is because I'm doing the repel trick. So, uh, let's first start off with something. So, Brawl's base odds in this area is 4%. So you only have a 4% chance of encountering Roll. Now, if you use a four, level 4 repel trick, that doubles the odds. It brings it up to 10% chance of Brawl spawning. But this early in the game, I only get the repels that do 100 steps. So... Instead of having to walk back and forth constantly, waste repels, and reset, which would take a long time, I'm just using the acro bike to hop in place, which activates encounters without using any step. So I'm using the level 4 repel trick without waste. Didn't know it lets you do encounters using it? Yeah. This is actually how I'm going to hit uh, hunt the 1% Whale Lord. So basically... Uh, there's this really cool hunt that I saw from Sonic that I plan on doing as well, where you can hunt Waylord, who's 1%. But the only way to do it is you have to, like, kind of glitch your game slightly so that you start riding your bicycle on the ocean. And then you bunny hop on your bike until you get encounters of Waylord while the repel's active. Uh, the two problems is it only works in Ruby because... Of the levels, uh, the repel trick only works in group. Secondly, it only works in English. Well, there's actually two problems. It only works on the English copies because if you use the Japanese copies and hop in place, uh, your game will soft lock. The third problem is because it's such a high level repel trick, and there's so little that spawn. It, and using the repel trick makes only Waylord spawn. 
it, it goes from 1% to 100%. Uh, the spawn rate is stupid slow. So, um, it takes forever to get those encounters. Like, he was, in his, in his video, he showed that there was a time difference of, like, 30 minutes in between encounters. I see you've done your research since Ralts is taking too long to sign. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I knew about this strategy before I started Ralts Hunt. I knew about this and planned... I had originally planned on doing this before I started the Ralts Hunt. The reason why I didn't at first was because I was wanting to play through the game at first. Uh, but since we decided to do a fresh playthrough and this will be on my DTQ... Uh... What's it called? What's the word? Uh, since I'm doing a fresh playthrough, it doesn't matter. So I pushed all these accounts forward to get the bike, so I can, rather than running back and forth. And I just thought, you know, while I do need all these Pokemon Shiny for my deck, ultimately I want to not waste any time getting my rolls. I want to get my rolls as fast as possible, so I might as well double my odds of getting rolls. What's the percentage on Whale Lord? Uh, base spawn rate for Whale Lord. There's only one route that you can find Whale Lord at, which is why it's really cool to do this hunt. Um, anywhere else, you can only find Whalemers, but you can catch a Whalemer and then evolve it up. But this will be special because it'll be a hunt that I have uh, taken care of. Uh, but on the wild, the only area that Whale Lord spawns itself in Ruby and Sapphire, it's a one percent spawn rate. Uh, so it's only got a 1% chance of being encountered. But if you do the bicycle hop repel trick, I think it's like level 39 repel trick or something, uh, you make it to where Whale Lord's the only thing that spawns. So it goes from 1% to 100%. You're obviously a mess. Just mess. No, I just want memorable shiny hunt, you know? If I'm going to do this living shiny deck, I want it to be the best deck ever. There's lots of people doing this living deck. You know, all the time I hear people saying, Oh, I know this person who's doing this shiny living deck at home just like you. Or he's way ahead of you. I want people to be like, yeah, they did it too, but nobody did it like Solemn Titan did. I want to be the person that everybody's compared to when they do their living deck. And the only way I can do that is if I do... These crazy hunts across all these generations collect Pokemon from all over the place. Wait, wait, that's right. Titans run headfirst into enemies and punch everything. So I'm gonna run headfirst into this Pokédex and just do things the hard way. All you want to be remembered, that's right. 50 years from now, or hundreds and hundreds of years from now when I'm dead, I want people to be like, remember that guy who did the crazy shiny hunt for a living deck? And and my pokey decks will be, my shiny decks will be in, in a museum. It'll be remembered for all time. It's like how you know me who wants who wants their shinies to be miserable? Yeah. Because viewers like pain and suffering and sadness when it comes to these things. They want to watch the streamer man be sad and in pain. I bet if I missed, if I wasn't as good at shiny hunting and I failed a lot of hunts, I'd probably have a lot more people like enjoying hanging out. So you know what? I wonder if I have the my only shiny fail on YouTube still. I sure hope I do. I wonder how that video did. No pain, no game, bro. But I won't lie. Sometimes I do think, am I wasting my time starting this? You know, should I just give up and not do it? Because this is a huge time commitment. And I think, like, yeah, I shouldn't do this, because the amount of time it's going to require to get all these Pokemon.
No time is wasted if you're enjoying it. Yeah. That's another thing too, is I think like, well, you know, eventually everything's gonna end and blah blah blah, but then at the same time it's like Who cares if this is how I wanna spend my time? This is what I wanna do. I wanna hunt these Pokemon. Because I wanna enjoy it. So I keep going. Another thing too is I really want to get Shiny Rolled and I want to get Shiny Gyarados before next year. Because as I tell y'all all the time is I'm going to save up money and I'm going to go compete in Pokemon tournaments next year. And I want to take these Shiny Pokemon with me to the tournament. That's what I'll do too next year, is I'll do like some vlogs at the tournament. What's up guys? It's your boy Solemn Titan here. At the Internationals in or uh, Oceana. Do you have plans on joining the PWC? Pokemon World Championship? Absolutely. If that's what you mean. As far as like, entering in, entering into the finals and becoming the world champion, absolutely I'd love to do that. That's why I'm competing. But I need to practice, I need to get a team, I need to get shinies that I can use. Exactly, I know, I don't have to bring shiny, but that's that's why I want to. It's because not only do I want to win, but I want everybody to see like, hey, there it is, the, the Gyarados that clutched it up and took him and gave him first place in those regionals. I remember watching the video when he hunted that in the safari zone and he caught it. And after 10,000 fishing encounters in the safari zone during safari week, he caught that Gyarados and there it is. It just won him the championship. You have any idea how cool that would be? There's the Gardevoir that he spent 40 hours on to hunt. That's the 220k shiny Lapras dude, that's right. Not only is he good at shiny hunting and wasting his time, he's good at beating other people at Pokemon. Who would have thought? And then I'll have to go head to head against Aaron Cybertron Zang and Wolfie VGC. And here we have Titan with his Gardevoir he hunted for 10 years. Golly, I don't think I could do a 10 year hunt. I'm dreading the idea that it's, some of these hunts are going to take me years. That's why I've got so many DS's going. And I'm not going to lie. If this, if these hunts start to drag on for too long, I will buy multiple GameCubes with Game Boy players 
and Wavebird receivers, I will start 10x hunting if that's what it costs. I will oh. work some OT for a couple weeks and buy a crap ton of systems and games, and I will 10x hunt. I will get crazy with it if these things take too long. This is only the beginning of my addiction. Only take, taking out my Destiny Bond? Oh, wow. Could you imagine Destiny Bond makes a comeback in, in PvP? Did, wasn't that a play for the beginning of Scarlet and Violet as a way to counteract... Um... What you would call it? Uh... Don Dozo? Like, wasn't that a... For a minute, wasn't that how what people were doing to beat Don Dozo when Tatsugiri entered its mouth? You'd be like that guy, bicycle, that guy who has his bicycle full of smartphones playing Pokemon Go. Oh, I stopped paying attention to people on Pokemon Go, but, um, I remember the one dude who, I think he eventually got banned on Pokemon or something from what post he made a long, long time ago, but you used to live in like China or Japan or something. I, obviously not China, uh, I guess it was Japan, but he had like 10... 15 smartphones and he'd go around his city and do gyms by himself or something do gym raids by himself he had like 15 ar 15 phones on his arms that he'd walk around i haven't watched that one yet but knowing how tanky dondoso is it's probably the same thing you know what i'd love to see them do by the way is I want to see them come out with a regional variant of Tatsugiri in the next game and let it go inside of Whale Lord's mouth and do the exact same thing that uh, that it does in Don Dozo's mouth, but for Whale Lord. That would be so cool. Even Golden Gold Dengo wouldn't be able to one hit it. I wonder if Destiny Bond fails against, uh, Gold Dingo. And I'm pretty sure it does, because it fails on ev everything. Else. Right, I want Relicanth to have a regional form. Yeah. Regional forms for all the, uh, all the dinosaur fossils. All the fossil Pokemon. I want Tropius to get an evolution. I'd love Mag Cargo to get. Oh my gosh, imagine if Mag Cargo got a regional form that was water and fire type. Does that make sense? No, but that'd be so cool, and that'd be such an awesome typing. So with this game, Smurgle, Keekleon, oh yes. Keekleon needs some redemption, bro. I want an evolution for cast form that create that sets up weather. And changes its form based off what weather it sets up. So you can, like, change its abilities to be sand fire, water, or whatever, and whichever ability you give it is what form it'll change into. Right, that's what you exact. What, in all honesty, what Pokemon do y'all think will get uh, new evolutions next generation. You know, they they did that a lot this generation with Dunsparce. They did it with uh, Primeape. Who else did they do it with? Pretty sure. They, oh, yeah, B-Sharp. So what other Pokemon do you think will get a new evolution?
There's too many to choose from, TBA. I think my top pick would be Torkoal from Generation 3. A new Nidoran form. From Generation 1, obviously. And then... If I had a pick one. I don't know who else I'd pick. And I'm trying not to... In, I'm intentionally trying not to just pick Pokemon from Generation 3. There's so many from Gen 3 alone that I love. It's love. Phalanx, I want... I don't necessarily want Phalanx to evolve. I just want it to get more. But if it evolved into a... Into a cool, bigger self version of itself. Maybe it's got, like, more of those little troopers. Oh. Love that. I just want Mega Evolution back. That was not during my Pokemon. I never played. But, dang. I would... My thing, though, when it comes to Megas is... I want... I want... I like Evolutions to be permanent, so... I'm not... I'm not a big fan of them only being there for the battle. No. I would want... I think those evolutions are cool, and I wish they could be permanent. Yeah. What about pseudo Wudo? Ooh, that's a good pick. Come on, bonds aren't being used. Finally, have a spotlight on. Yep. this last set we're gonna take a quick stretch break i want obama snow evolution imagine if they made a regional variant of obama snow that was grass and fire i'll be right back
Gak, it's so good to see you. Alright, let's see. No shinies. I'll be able to start a new research or mons that leave a certain typing. I have a different one on their final evil. Some more changes on their playstyle, and I'll just rely on it, like being, let's say, fire type. What are you making fun of me for saying let's change some of the types? You know, like the Sijuai, probably it is being flying type. Uh, and then it got changed to being grass ghost instead of grass flying. Probably it died if it became a ghost type Pokemon. Probably. I'm late for school again, I'll stop by later. Alright, Gak. Well, if I'm still on and I see you later, then I can't wait. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Sorry you're late for school, buddy. I hope everything's okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, this one DS is taking forever. The only reason why I haven't been considering, like, the possibility of these games not working is because every time I spawn in, one of these DSs has the shiny pooch as my, uh, poochina. That just reminds me every time that I do see the shinies and I am still able to get them. I'm just getting really bad odds.
Oh, two roll. Nice. Alright, after this set, everybody, we're gonna hit 20,000 encounters. So let's see if we can get something at 20,000. Oh, look. Alright, no shinies. Alright everybody, I think we're gonna stop there. We just broke 20,000. I think that's a good place to end for the night. Uh, we'll be back next week. And we'll pick up some more shiny hunting. Our goal next week is to break 30,000. I want to do 10,000. Then 10,000 a week. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I hope you all have a good night. Bye.